Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you don't know and you're new here, I am a beauty guru. Should I say that? Uh, I am totally obsessed with clean, not clean. Um, should I call myself a purist now? Uh, since there is green beauty, organic beauty, natural beauty, I'll call it a purist beauty because I am totally using or I'm trying to use only natural and organic products chemical free no preservatives no nasties in there nothing uh no food coloring anything i'm trying to read all my ingredients and uh this is a collaboration video with renata from green life in dublin if you know her from instagram she is really one of my friends and uh today i'm gonna share with you my makeup favorites for the summer and she's gonna share her favorites in skincare and body care for the summer and I'm gonna link that video I'm gonna link it down below and as you can see I did today my makeup and explaining why I love these products so much and you don't have to use a bright lipstick but I love a bright lipstick for the summer but just this eye combination it's amazing and yeah uh, if you're interested in watching how I'm doing my makeup and sharing my uh, makeup favorites for the summer keep watching so right off the bat I'm gonna start with a primer and this is the 100% mattifying primer and I love this so much it's filling my pores it's leaving you know such a beautiful skin uh, this is this looks like silicone like seriously it's unbelievable and it's doing what the primer should do really really expensive but um i realized that 100 pure has always these sales you know like um black friday sales or fourth of july sale or labor day sales so watch for those and i think i got it half priced and it works wonders i must tell you this this it's does feels like a primer should feel and it has that kind of silicone feel without the silicone so yeah it works amazing and then one of my favorite i guess number one favorite right now um foundation is the 100 percent pure second skin foundation and no matter the weather no matter you know how my skin is acting out if it's on the dry side if it's you know more on the oily side in the summer you know it's kind of mixed i noticed that uh, this foundation works amazing but uh unless you have dry patches so if you have dry patches it's definitely gonna stick to those so make sure you can use a scrub before you use this foundation you know have a really really good skincare routine you know just to keep your foundation looking flawless and I do like to apply with my fingers I do feel it does a better job at covering with my fingers I don't know how to explain it but this it's so much faster and better than a sponge or a brush and it does it for me as you can see it's so fast and quick and you know the skin looks amazing and you can't even tell you have any foundation on that's why I love this foundation so much hence the name second skin foundation and I am just gonna uh, add a little bit more when I when I have more discoloration so I have to use um, less concealer if you will uh, sometimes I can totally skip the concealer actually if I use this foundation but yeah, I have some discoloration in the center of my face, I have dark circles, I have, you know, um, my eyelids have some discoloration too, so I'm just gonna put that on that too, just to even out everything. And yeah. What you guys think? looks amazing doesn't it and even you know in the summertime when I have a tan I have this is a shade one actually it's a light it's a light shade and uh, you can see I have a tan going on and you know it's not a huge difference but as soon as I use a bronzer everything 
you know works perfectly and I'm gonna use just a little bit, a little bit of um, concealer and this is our MS in shade 11 and despite of all the drama around our MS I like this product I didn't have any issues with our MS so uh, this is what I'm gonna use I just use just a little bit usually you know during the week I don't use any foundation this is more like on the weekends I will say I will go um, full glam up with the foundation and stuff but usually I just use a concealer and I'm good to go and yeah I don't use much makeup during the week um, I'm running around a lot with my son so I really don't think I need that much makeup you know and then I'm gonna use a little bit of powder and I'm gonna use the same brush actually I uh, have here a powder from um, Chlor Caramel and this is really really hard to buy because Chlor Caramel just launched in USA I think last year and um, actually they are more selling into beauty like uh, spa oriented uh, places and it's gonna be hard to find uh, so I'm definitely gonna hunt for another zero waste um, powder but definitely I'm thinking to make my own uh, I have some ideas in my mind so maybe we're gonna do a little we're gonna play with some um, powders pretty soon but yeah usually when I use a powder I powder only uh, under my eyes because um, I have some fine lines and because when I'm smiling I do get some creasing in there so I just use it to set up under there a little bit on my nose around my nose and basically just around uh, where I get more fine lines so my foundation doesn't crease but this foundation is pretty amazing and I don't have any issues but yeah just about that much I don't care if I get any shine because I like that I like to have a dewy makeup I'm all about natural glow and stuff so I'm not really going for something very very matte and crazy okay now I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick and I'm using 100% pure a medium brown pomade Oh. Oh. and this is drying out I noticed that and every time it's drying out a little bit I'm adding a drop of oil it can be any type of oil just don't add water or alcohol because this is an oil based product so you definitely need an oil now because I filling my eyebrows a lot because as you can see I don't have a lot of eyebrow actually um, I got I got a technique and that makes it really quick I guess uh, I get just a little bit of the pomade on my brush and I try to kind of trace the bottom line and I'm not trying to be precise here I'm quite messy and try to see where it should end and then kind of fill it in where I have those missing hairs and that's about it pretty much that's about it brush in and done and voila now we're moving on and I have here two bronzers that I use and I'm really quick about it I don't make a fuss about bronzer I don't care to be very precise with bronzer and I have 100% pure in Coco glow and I like this bronzer even though that it looks so dark in the pan it's billable and it's so 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 nice on any kind of skin tone I think even on dark skin tones I think this might show up because it's so dark and it's not um, it's not 
It has like a pretty brownish color to it. It's now reddish. It doesn't have an orange shade. It's pretty flat, I would say. It's a perfect color for contouring. So that's what I use it for mostly. And like I said, I don't care about being very precise with it. Now, as you can see, after I use the bronzer, you can tell that I put a lighter shade of the foundation. And like I said, the, I feel like the bronzer is tying up everything. And now the second bronzer that I'm gonna use is from Ecobella and this is called Hibiscus and actually even though it's called the bronzer this is more on the shimmerish, shimmerish side and it has like a, a glow to it but it also has like I don't know let me show you side by side because one it's more on the brown side and matte and the other one it's a little bit um, it has a little bit of color to it I don't know how to explain this. Um, he has, I don't know, a warmth, not even warm because it's not reddish, it's not uh, orangey. It's, I don't know, just giving a beautiful color to my cheeks. And I love this so much and I don't have to use a blush actually. I mean, I use this as a blush, but as you can see, it's luminizer it's luminizing my cheeks but it's also giving a nice touch uh, to the color of my cheeks like a bronzy touch what do you guys think so I like to use this this is a bronzer slash blush so I get that beautiful summer glow and I don't know if you guys remember this trend when you went all over the cheek nose and then cheek again i don't know if you guys remember this and it's usually it's mimicking a sunburn when you get you know tan around your nose and your cheeks from the pole and i'm obsessed about that i don't know i just look like that so this is what i do so you look like you just came from the beach or i don't know and i'm just gonna give a little bit of color to my forehead too okay and blend everything a little bit together as you can see already I have like a beautiful color on my cheeks and face and without being too dramatic I will say now the next step is a luminizer luminizer and this is 100% pure foot pigmented satin eyeshadow in color star and I think this was like on a super sale or something I got this very very cheaply and I'll show you why I love this so much and actually I use this as a highlighter so I'm gonna highlight my whole face with this and because I love cream highlighter so much this is perfect and I'm using a synthetic brush usually with this product and I'm gonna I like the inner corner of my eye first. I'm gonna show you how beautiful is this. A little bit on my brown bone. And it looks so natural and glowy. It's just out of this world product. Even though it's called an eyeshadow, I never use this as an eyeshadow. I basically could just highlight my face with it because it's barely there but it has such a beautiful nice glow I'm gonna do my nose just a tiny little bit not too much I have you know I don't have a beautiful nose I have like a really triangular I think nose called so I'm trying not to make it look any bigger if it's possible so I'm not doing a full line, but highlighting just a little bit in my upper lip. Just so it will look bigger. 
when you're applying lip products and I take a bigger fluffy brush also synthetic and apply it on my cheek you can see the glow and this is like a yellow it's on the yellow side but you know on the cheek is not that yellow it's not that bright and probably that's why i like it because it's so subtle it's so so beautiful so just a little glow but not too crazy now i'm going on to the other side I think with this product you can also use your fingers, but I think a brush works better in spreading the product, not to, you know, keep it in one place. Like that. Now I'm gonna go into eyeshadow and I'm gonna start with the eyeliner first. And I'm using Noir from Anthony and I think this is everybody's favorite isn't it by now you can't fail with this eyeliner clean one, clean eyeliner and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tagline my eyes first and I'm doing only the from the iris out I'm not doing more than this And I feel every time I, I'm doing this, my eyes are looking so much bigger and open and, I don't know, just better. And a little bit drag it out. And don't worry too much about it because I'm gonna use a liquid eyeliner also, like that. Now I'm gonna do the other side. And this takes practice, I can tell you this right now, because I remember before I couldn't do this without crying, and even now I feel like I'm gonna cry a little bit, but yeah, I'm tearing a lot. But the more you do it, the better you get at it. But I think it gives such a nice, beautiful, um, it opens the eyes a lot. And then I'm gonna use two eyeshadows now I'm gonna keep it very simple nothing complicated and I have two eyeshadows from Prisma palette and you have to discover Prisma palette if you didn't yet because they have amazing amazing shades uh, all natural eyeshadow and we have here duochrome Aurora and duochrome Venom so these both have um, they shine in two colors so uh, Aurora it's a pink with slightly green uh, halo I will say color and then Venom it's a uh, green and actually has like brownish um, brownish base I think every time when I apply it I'm thinking about it as a crisp color and then you can apply it wet and it's popping green and it's such a beautiful like a serpent color I will say I'm gonna take a small, with a small flat brush, I'm gonna apply first Aurora Dry and whenever you want a pop of color you have to use it wet. Let's just do a base first. And it's so so beautiful for the summer, it's nice and bright and you know, nobody knows what kind of eyeshadow did you use because um, on the eyelid is not pink. It's kind of greenish, but it's also bright and, you know, it has, I don't know, a very, very cool tone to it. And then we know with a fluffy brush I'm gonna take Venom and just 
do my Chris like I would normally do. And I'm gonna try to focus like half of it first, just to pack the color on first. I'm gonna work from there. And then the other side. Like that. As you can see, the crease is intense now. And I'm not gonna take any more color on my brush and just drag it a little more. Because I wanna kinda elongate the shape of my eye. And I'm gonna go slightly under, only at the end of my eye. a little bit of color there and then just drag it out And I don't know if you notice, it also has like a brownish tone to it, but it has like a greenish tone to it, so it's like you can really tell. I'm gonna intensify a little bit the, um, the upper lid here. And that's about it. Now I'm gonna use a liquid eyeliner and I have here 100% pure in black tea. You can also use a brown if you like, I have a brown one too. And I really like this liquid eyeliner because it's drying almost like, um, how to say this? Once it dries out, it doesn't crack and it doesn't uh, come off. It's more like, um, gel I will say because when you want to take it off you can just lift it up from the eyelid um, and it comes in one piece off I don't have to explain that um, but yeah I will say gel a minute to dry and while I'm waiting I'm gonna show you most of the days I just use this clear lip gloss and this is from lavender and gems it's on Etsy shop and this is a plumping cinnamon lip gloss and I like to use this a lot I don't use a lot I don't use it you know straight with the roll because it comes a lot out and I just lightly touch my lips with it because it's so potent and as soon as you put it on you can smell the cinnamon but after you wait like a minute or two it's gonna start working and it's gonna plump your lips and yeah I, I love this plumping oil so beautiful natural and amazing ingredients and it does work and while I'm gonna wait for that to work, I'm gonna apply a mascara, 100% pure maracuya oil mascara, and this is in blackberry, but I also have it in black, so uh, it's not such a huge blackberry color to it. It's just slightly purplish, and I really, really like that because I have hazel eyes, and it's gonna make my eyes pop, and yeah, that's why I like it, but um, you can use any color you want. Um, especially if it's complementing your eyes but yeah like I said this is not gonna be such a huge um, purple pop of color on my lashes but yeah I guess I just try to be fun <laughs> uh, every chance I get so that's why I use this color Even though I love a nice 
neutral lip color I'm gonna use a really bold one today because for me summertime it's all about a bright lipstick and bold color so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take some of the oil off just to make sure I don't have any greasiness on it and I'm gonna use a lip pencil and this is from Color Caramel I'm not sure what shade is this I see here two numbers 152 and 147 but I can tell you right now it's a bright red and I use this as an eyeshadow too because you can use for both since it's natural I'm just gonna outline a little bit and what I'm gonna use is 100% pure um, pomegranate anti-aging oil lipstick in hibiscus and it, this is a very very bright lipstick So I apply first, I use a tissue, always, because this one is so rich, um, it's very creamy and I feel like it's gonna just come off as soon as I touch something. So this is my final look, um, this is probably what I will go for. if. For the weekends i will say the bright lipstick definitely only on the weekends because i like a neutral lipstick also lip gloss or you know something like that but on the weekends i like to go bold i really like a bright lipstick uh, i like uh, the shades of magenta or of uh, flame orange bright uh, red for the summertime so um yeah this is something like i will go for evening out um yeah, so that was my uh, video. Uh, please do check out Renata's video with her favorites on skincare and body care uh, for the summertime. Her favorites. And these are my makeup favorites right now for the summertime. I enjoy this eyeshadow so much. Uh, I can't tell you how beautiful these are, uh, even by themselves or combined. But yeah, you probably seen this on my Instagram before because um, I used it before and. I just love this. This eyeshadow totally rocks. Uh, but yeah, even with a bold uh, lipstick or not, with a neutral one, just imagine a neutral one with these eyes. Uh, it's really, really amazing. Um, as you can see, the foundation is buried there. You can even tell. So that's why it's my favorite. It doesn't move this last top six to eight hours on my face. Uh, I noticed last time when I tried it on and I did. Um, side by side with physician formula which is not organic okay they call it organic but it's not organic let's not go there but you can watch my review if you're curious about that um doesn't even compare with the one so yeah this is uh my number one favorite foundation so far um let me know if you guys have any questions about these products that i use and they are my favorites in this video again check out renata's video with her favorites and thanks for watching and i'll see you next time